Right, happening right now, a rally in front of the road home demanding the downtown shelter stay open through the winter. In the meantime, state leaders give an update on the status of the homeless transition plan. With that, ABC 4's Jason Wynn was at the press conference with state leaders on the transition update. But first, we want to go to ABC 4's Rosie Nguyen, who joins us live from the rally in front of the downtown shelter. And Rosie, what's the latest there? Glenn Emily, state leaders made the decision to close the road home down in December, but organizers and participants at the rally behind me say that's the wrong time to close down the downtown shelter. They say it can mean life or death for some homeless individuals who will be left out in the cold. Among the crowd in front of the road home lies Billy Scott, one of the organizers leading the grassroots effort to keep the downtown shelter open past December. To her, the issue is personal because homelessness is a battle she's faced before. I was in a, a dangerous situation and I ended up on the streets with no family, no friends, no one to turn to. The push to delay the shelter's closure date is something Mayor-elect Erin Mendenhall says she's been fighting for as well during the last five months. That is one of my day one uh, conversations that I mentioned is sitting down with state and county leaders to talk about the homelessness crisis at that broader level. Scott says rally organizers and participants have five requests from state leaders. One of them is to push the road homes closure date to March 2020. Just so that way there's somewhere for people to go during the dead, like the harshness of the winter. They also want the road home to offer the same amount of beds in the meantime and change legislation to bring in more beds to the new shelters. It's approximately 700 beds between the three of them and that's roughly 400 beds less than the road home had provided. Mendenhall says she's going to wait and see if the shelter's transition is sufficient to the needs of the city's homeless population. If it isn't, she says she'll also be pushing state leaders for an emergency plan. We shall see as the South Salt Lake facility comes online this week and in the coming weeks how that transition is happening. Now, some of the other requests rally participants have, they don't want any arrests or any tish or tickets to be issued until the original numbers of beds can be offered at the road home. They also want free fare for public transportation to be offered to individuals who will be living at the new shelters. Now, today, state leaders gave an update on that homeless transition of the shelters. ABC 4's Jason Wynn joins us live from downtown Salt Lake City with that side of our team coverage. Jason?